Hola, didn't hear you come in. Greetings and welcome to Ask That Guy with the Glasses. So, what was the afterlife like, and how did you come back? That's a very good question. Perhaps many of you remember my heart attack on the last episode. Yes, this is definitely a heart attack. <laughs> if someone out there could call 911 for me, that'd be very, very helpful. I, uh, I think I'm just gonna have a lie down for the moment. <laughs> Hilarious and tragic. I approached God at the pearly gates and I said that I felt rather ripped off. There are so many questions in this world that I still need to answer. So I made a deal with the Almighty. He said that I could return back to Earth to answer all your questions. And in return, I would just have to do this every once in a while. Read the Bible! Read it every day, it has all the answers. Or, if you don't want to read the Bible, read the Chronicles of Narnia. They're pretty much the same book. Read them and discover life. Life! I hope that answers your question. Life! Where is your traditional Ask That Guy With The Glasses pipe? Be right back. Oh my god, this is the greatest movie I've ever seen in my life! And let me tell you why. In a time of high-tech science and overblown special effects, this movie dares to take a chance on just the performers that... Hold on one moment. Give me that! Give me that! No! No! He's the only thing that makes me look so sophisticated! What a douche. Here it is. A one-armed man is holding on to a cliff while his ass is itching. What should he do? He should call on the ass scratching fairy. All you have to do is call on the magic words, Assity, Assity, scratch, scratch, scratch! And the ass scratching fairy will appear. And she will scratch your ass like there's no tomorrow. The only downside is that she always waves goodbye. And of course you don't want to be rude, so you would have to wave goodbye as well and fall to your death. But at least your ass wouldn't itch anymore. And isn't that a cause worth dying for? Yes. Did you recently get a haircut? No. My head just got smaller. Haircut. As you read this, I am being gradually lowered into a vat of boiling acid. How do you recommend I escape using as many flashy special effects as possible? Well, I don't really have enough information to answer this question. I mean, are you in a cage? somebody wrap you up in chains? Is there a person slowly lowering you into the acid? Or is it some kind of acid lowering machine? I can't help you. You're just gonna have to be lowered into the acid and die. That'll teach you to ask more specific questions in the future, which you have none of. Some people have no consideration. What would happen to a guy if he got bitten by a vampire, a werewolf, and a zombie all at the same time? He would become a were-zombie pyre. He would turn into a wolf, suck the blood of innocent people, and then eat his own brains for good measure. And he would do this day after day after day after day. And unfortunately, nothing can kill him. He is a were-zombie pyre. The only thing that can kill him is a silver bullet attached to a crucifix while being filmed in a George A. Romero movie. Because nothing killed the zombies better than George A. Romero. There's a suicidal, one-eyed green monkey sitting on my table and smashing newborn squirrels with a kitchen hammer. Therefore, I believe the question is pretty obvious. Do you like cabbage soup? Yes, I love cabbage soup, with a little parsley and the right spices. It's actually one of my favorite dishes. Thank you for asking. God bless you. <sighs> can fat people go skinny dipping? No, but they can go chubby dipping. I myself have gone chubby dipping before. I used to be the size of a bulldozer, and going chubby dipping was the best way to show that I am chubby and proud. Except I wasn't proud. I was dead inside. Dead as the Dead Sea. How dead is the Dead Sea? Get out of my mind! Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm alright, I'm alright. What do people in China call their good plates? They call their good plates, good plates. This is that guy with the glasses saying, there's no such thing as a stupid question until you ask it.